Beam Calcs is the new way for homeowners, builders and architects to get steel beams and pad stones designed without the need for a structural engineer. For £29 we'll send you a report within three working days which will outline the structural calculations for your steel beams and pad stones. All our reports are checked by our founder Kevin Taylor who has 20 years of experience in the structural engineering industry and is an associate member of the Chartered Association of Building Engineers. We guarantee that our reports will meet building regulations and include specifications for safe and efficient steel beams. Here's how it works. First, go to Start Calculation in the menu. You'll need to find the diagram that matches your steel beam requirements. For example, is your steel beam going to support an internal wall? Or do you need it to support floor joists? There are 46 different calculation types in total, so it's best to narrow down the options using the buttons available. For example, if you click on the internal wall button, you will only see scenarios for steel beams that support internal walls. That's six calculation types. Whereas if you click on the floor joist button, only calculation types 1 and 2 appear. You now need to look carefully at each diagram and see which one fits your building project. You can click on each diagram to enlarge it. For this example, type 1 suits our project because we need a steel beam that will support two sections of floor, one either side of the beam. Now we just need to enter our dimensions. Dimension A is the distance between the centre of the proposed steel beam and the wall on one side. And dimension B is the distance between the centre of the proposed steel beam and the wall on the other side. Next you need to say whether the floor joists support non-load bearing timber stud partitions. These are the hollow internal walls often used in modern houses. Your answer here will help us determine what loads are acting upon the floor joists. Choose yes or no. Finally, for this calculation type, we just need to know what length your steel beam will be. Once you have entered these details, add your email address, agree to our terms and conditions, and click the Continue to Secure Checkout button. You will then be able to choose to pay via PayPal or with a debit or credit card. Just follow the instructions to complete your payment and then wait for your report. It will arrive within three working days. Some of our calculation types ask for a bit more information, so let's look at one of those now. Calculation type 7 is for two steel beams which need to support a number of elements, a cavity wall, floor joists, ceiling joists and roof rafters for the main house, as well as ceiling joists and roof rafters for a lean-to. It's a more complicated project, so you need to enter more measurements. Dimension A is the length of a floor requiring support. Dimension B is the length of ceiling in the main house requiring support. Again, we need to say whether the floor joists are supporting non-load-bearing timber stud partitions or not. Dimension C is the distance between the purlin in the roof and the inside of the cavity wall. Purlins are horizontal beams that span between roof rafters, providing extra support. You then need to add the pitch, or angle, of the main roof. Dimension D is the height of the cavity wall. Dimension E is the length of ceiling in the lean-to that requires support. Then add the pitch of the lean-to roof. And finally, enter the length of your proposed steel beams. As before, you'll need to enter your email address and agree to our terms and conditions before you can continue to the secure checkout. We hope this video has been helpful. If you still have questions about the BeamCalc service, please get in touch. We're here to help.